Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas Pro 18 tutorial for you. And today we're gonna be going over the new Colorize plugin. And just in case you didn't know, Vegas Pro 18 is also included in Vegas Post, which is a post-production software that includes Vegas Pro, Vegas Image, and Vegas Effects. All of all that information and affiliate links posted in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump right into Vegas 18. Okay, so we're in Vegas Pro 18 right now. I'm going to drag in two clips to my timeline. One is a colored clip that is just basic correction. There's no grading on it at all. It's of me just standing here. And I have a pretty vast amount of colors. I got some blue, some orange, some yellow, skin tones, some darks, and some lights, and some red over here. And then I also rendered that exact same clip in black and white. As we see, it is 100% grayscaled. We're going to see how well Vegas' new colorization plugin works. So we find our colorization plugin in the video effects on the left hand side, and we're just going to drag and drop the default onto our black and white. We're going to see after a few seconds that it automatically generates some stuff for us. Now we can compare these back and forth, but it's obviously not going to be perfect. This colorization plugin is meant to kind of bring a little bit of life to some black and white footage or old films and things like that. It's never designed to be absolutely perfect. In fact, it's pretty much impossible for something just to guess the perfect accurate colors but we'll see how good it does. So in the settings here, we have a luminance enhancement, and by default it's off, but we have two options under here, estimation only, which does not apply to the output, and then apply to output. I'm gonna move this over here so we can see the vector scope and the waveforms. So we drop down here and click estimation only. We see it makes a little bit of adjustment, but it's not really noticeable. So we do apply to output. It brightens it just a hair. So, you know, we'll keep it right there. Precision, we could change it from low, medium, high, or match input size. So this is obviously just a quality scale. So we currently have it in low. Let's see what medium looks like. Okay, it changed the colors a little bit. It made the wall a little bit white. Let's see what high looks like. Don't see much difference there as well. And finally, we have match input size, which is the best quality. So having it on something down here like match input size and high, it does take a pretty decent PC to render this because this is all AI based. So it's doing a lot of processing in the background. So I'm going to flip it down to high. Down here we have the options to invert green and red. We can check that. And it changes the colors on us. We can uncheck. Then we can also see invert blue and yellow. We can check that. Which, you know, changes it up a little bit too. A little bit more. Then down here we have some more customization options. Shift between green and red. We can drag the slider to make some fine tune adjustments. And then down here we have shift between blue and yellow to make even more fine tuned adjustments. It's not looking too, too bad. Coming from completely black and white, we got some skin tones, and we got the hair, we got some color in the shirt. And then down here we have gain on green and red and gain on blue and yellow. So this basically means it's going to amplify green and reds a little bit on the channels themselves, of course. So we up this a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Now we're bringing some life back into this. It's looking a little bit more normal, so we can keep it going. Okay, let's see what we do on blues and yellows. Okay, a little too much up here. Let's see what happens when we go negative with them, or at least below one. Okay, kind of like it back up here. We'll bring this back down and see what happens. So even though the colors aren't 100% perfect, so if we flip between the original, which is black and white, and then the color estimation, it's not doing a bad job at all. Again, it's not perfect, but it is really unique and nice, and it's a cool feature to have if you want to restore some old family videos things like that to just bring some color into them it could mean a lot to somebody watching that and so that pretty much wraps it up of vegas's new colorization plugin and there you have it if this tutorial helped you out be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out and if you want to support the channel through patreon you can do that as well the link is in the description below so thanks again for watching everybody and i'll see you all in the next video and i want to give a special shout out to all of my super subscribers up there at the top be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content